Changes in over-the-counter medicine research of the coronavirus warned of risk with using too much ibuprofen, and now stores are unable to keep the shelf stocked with a different drug. News 2's Kate Prestag spoke to Trident Health on the advantages and disadvantages of using acetaminophen. In the times of the coronavirus, many are making the switch from ibuprofen daily to acetaminophen, but doctors say they're not interchangeable. Dr. Angela Taylor with Trident Health says high doses of the drug being taken daily are very different than that of ibuprofen. When you take that dosing on a repetitive basis, or if you take more of that at once, you can do real harm to your liver. The recent study showed ibuprofen as a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug or NSAID to avoid is due to its harshness to the kidneys, an organ already susceptible to damage from the coronavirus. But it's not the only over-the-counter to be wary of. Really, ibuprofen um, and any medications in that non-steroidal anti-inflammatory class can be hard on the kidneys. So that would include naproxen as well. Um, typically, those are the big ones over-the-counter. While aspirin is categorized as an NSAID, Dr. Taylor does not recommend ceasing your daily regimen. People do take aspirin on a regular basis for other medical problems, and I would ask not to stop that. Um, if you're worried about COVID. Dr. Taylor went on to note that similar to other drugs once deemed unsafe in the times of the coronavirus and then later deemed safe pending further research, ibuprofen could follow suit. But for now, it's best to stay clear. In Charleston, I'm Kate Prestak. Count on two.